Jennifer Lopez has officially filed for divorce from Ben Affleck. A lot of people saw this coming, but I still think it's really sad. The day fans dreaded has finally arrived. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are officially calling it quits. After months of swirling divorce rumors and hopes for a reconciliation, Lopez has pulled the trigger, filing for divorce after just two years of marriage. But the drama doesn't end there. In a shocking twist, Affleck is reportedly eyeing a massive slice of Lopez's fortune, demanding half of her earnings. This unexpected move has left fans stunned and speculating about the real reasons behind the split. As the dust settles, all eyes are on the couple to see how this high-stakes divorce will unfold. Just what happened to their love story? Let's dive in. We, we knew this was coming. Uh, obviously, the signs have all been there. We've been talking about it for months. Uh, but today, on Tuesday, Jennifer Lopez filed the documents uh, here in Los Angeles. Lopez has done the impossible. She's finally letting go of Ben and her marriage. According to reports, J. Lo filed for divorce from Ben on August 20, 2024. Point is, she's done, they're done, divorce over. No more speculation, no more rumors. Surprisingly, J. Lo's attorneys didn't show up to file the divorce papers, which raises the question. If it wasn't the attorneys, then who was it? Well, Jennifer was the one who did it. Apparently, reports are saying she filed a pro per. It means she filed it on her own, no attorney. And the reason that's surprising is we know from our sources that she and Ben have been in discussions for several months now about how to uh, settle this divorce. Uh, and the reason that they've been having those discussions, there's no prenup. <laughs> I think that's gonna surprise a lot of people. And get this, Lopez lists the date of separation as April 26, 2024 in the divorce papers. But the day when it all ended for the couple is not the only thing that fans were curious about. The divorce news has raised many new questions for fans. Where are their assets going to go? Is there a prenup? Will someone be paying spousal support? Well, there's no mention of a prenup in the documents obtained and many sources are confirming that there's no prenup. But why do fans think the same? Well, Ben and Jennifer weren't exactly planning on getting divorced back when the two tied the knot in 2022. In fact, for them, their story was something straight out of a rom-com. Back then, Jennifer wrote in her newsletter, stick around long enough and maybe you'll find the best moment of your life in a drive through in Las Vegas at 12.30 in the morning in the Tunnel of Love, drive through with your kids and the one you'll spend forever with. She wrote this after she flew to Las Vegas to get the wedding license. She also added, love is beautiful, love is kind, and it turns out love is patient. 20 years patient. You know, they saw this coming, but I was actually rooting for them. I mean, a love story after two decades, you know, not being together while well, J-Lo has filed for divorce. Back to the prenup. Now, since the two don't really have one, then I think it's safe to say that whatever the two made during their time together is shared property. I should mention that some fans find the prenup thing funny, because if there's one person who should think of a prenup while getting married, it's J-Lo. I mean, this is Lopez's fourth marriage. A family attorney, Leslie Silva, also broke her silence over the couple's divorce and how it may cause some major issues in their assets. She said in New York, when dealing with a marriage of this length, it is highly likely that the parties would be able to accurately account for their premarital contributions in order to essentially leave the marriage with the assets they brought into the marriage. She further added, however, if they put assets in joint names after they married, and there is no controlling prenuptial agreement, it is possible that the assets would be considered entirely marital. Leslie explained, additionally, if they co-mingled their funds and used them for marital purposes, those assets may be distributed differently. Ultimately, the way the law treats assets depends on the law of the state where the parties maintain their primary residence. We were told that uh, the negotiations will be ongoing. They're still gonna have to reach a settlement on how they're gonna divide the assets that they've, um, that they've earned over the last two years. That also includes property. It's still not clear what the two will be doing with their assets and fans are curious as hell. Will J. Lo be addressing fans' concerns? Well, we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that Jennifer mentioned in the documents that she doesn't intend to seek spousal support, and she expects the same from Ben. However, some reports are saying otherwise. 
It looks like Ben is trying to pull as much money as he can from J Lo. He isn't planning to make it easy for her. Instead, he's asking for half of what the two made together. There's no official statement regarding this from the couple. But let's be real, J Lo has a net worth of $400 million while Ben's is only $150 million, so it's not a shocker if he did ask for it. The couple's separation rumors started earlier this year in 2024, and fans weren't ready for Benefer 2.0 to go down again. But that's just fans. Some were sure that the couple's marriage wasn't going to last at all. Ojani Noah, J Lo's first husband, was also one of the first few people who predicted that the reunion wasn't going to last. He said that J Lo loves being in love. He further added, Ben is husband number four. I was husband number one and she told me I was the love of her life. When we lay in bed on our wedding night, she said we would be together forever. Because I knew that I could never really have true love in my life again. Ojani also added, I wish her and Ben the best, but I'm not convinced it will last. I think she's someone who will be married seven or eight times. I can't see her ever settling down with one person. She pushes herself to constantly go forward in her professional life, which is why she's had a three-decade career, but she also moves on in her private life. If Ben has Jennifer's mom on his side, then maybe he's got a chance. And it looks like everyone's thinking along the same lines now. One fan said, we knew this was coming. I don't think anyone is surprised. I'm not even sure why they got married. She has had four failed marriages and he has now had two failed marriages. The two clearly weren't happy together. That being said, I wish J Lo and Ben all the best. While some fans are just bashing J Lo, according to them, all she did during these two years was focus on money and showing off her marriage, even when it wasn't going great. A fan wrote, she spent the past two years wasting her energy and money to try to prove to the world how madly in love the two of them were instead of focusing on him and her kids. Look what she got out of it. Nothing. Jane Fonda was right when she told her, I feel invested in you and Ben and I really, really want this to work, however, my concern is that it feels too much like you're trying to prove something instead of just living it. And that's all for today. What do you think about this situation? Is it finally over? Will J Lo go on a husband hunt now? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.